Hi guys, it's Ray. Today we are starting a new cup project. Um, we're going to do a full vinyl wrap. We are going to use the wet method to apply the vinyl because uh, if you've been watching me, you see me struggling to apply my vinyl. So um, I'm going to do the wet method even though it's been a bit. So I have a 20 ounce skinny straight, just stainless, lightly sanded. This is going to be my decal that goes on top of this. This is printed over white. It's a VC decal from Butterfly Lane Designs. So it will show up over my uh, printed vinyl. And I'm going to just trim the top even. I'm going to cut it down to size pretty well before I start. Probably gonna cut this a little bit shorter because, like I said, that that eight two brings you to the um to the curve. But I want a tiny bit of stainless at the top. And then, see, I'm gonna cut that little bit off. I'm going to peel my backer. I'm just going to peel it right off. And I don't have a spray bottle. I can't for the life of me remember to buy one. But this little bottle just has um, a tiny bit of dish soap, dish soap and some water. I'm going to sprinkle that on here. I'm also going to put some on my cup which because this is only lightly sanded, it's gonna try and repel. And I'm gonna plunk my cup down. And that should allow me to manipulate the vinyl as much as I need to get it perfectly lined up where I want it. Peel this little bit of overlap back. For just a second. So I can make sure any water that I'm pushing this direction, I can wipe up. So I'm still going to grab my edge trimmer and cut a little bit more off the bottom because I don't like, I don't like the looseness at the bottom. So that'll give me a nice glitter base and that's not quite a quarter of an inch I cut off. It's probably a little over an eighth of an inch. So it wasn't that dramatic. And I don't want that dramatic a cut at the top. Maybe I will glitter the top. I'm actually considering um, I'm gonna paint the top but I think I'm actually gonna do like a cascaded glitter down a little bit and up a little bit not a straight straight line so I think we're gonna let this dry thoroughly 
We're going to get a coat of paint on it quick. So the water is all dry under here. So I'm going to make sure my back seam is to the back. And I'm going to go ahead and apply my decal. I'm going to put the decal kind of in the middle. It's okay to not be okay. You might not go dead center to the bottom, but a little bit lower than I typically would. I'm just going to kind of put it. I do have a corally paint out, and I have a um, coral chunky glitter. Um, but I feel like this is a pretty sheer glitter, and if I go right over the silver, I'm still going to be able to read the... Um, writing on the bottom but I'm just gonna do one coat real quick probably um, and I'm gonna go down over the vinyl a little bit with my glitter so it really doesn't matter if the paint comes down a little bit My brush aside so I can go rinse it in a minute and I'm just gonna use my heat gun to dry that quick but I am gonna put it on a football first okay so I have my epoxy mixed up I have enough mix to do two cups I'm working on but I'm gonna put some of the touch of rose diamond dust in here for an all over shimmer. About that much in 30 mLs of epoxy. So I am going to pour onto the bottom um, maybe 5 mLs, maybe 7. Maybe not even that much. I can't read the cup now. And I'm going to stretch that as thin as I can. Okay, so I'm going to let this sit aside. I'm going to go coat my other cup, and then I will be back to glitter this. Okay, so I am ready to glitter. I'm going to lay out some paper. Get my glitter open. Because this is a chunky, I'm really not going to get anything out of the small side. So I'm just going to have to be careful with the poor side. I'm going to start at the bottom. I'm going to really try and get a good coat on the bottom. And around the rim. Basically up over to where the paint is. I want it pretty solid. Then I'm going to get a little pickier after that. in the way. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing on the top. did use a fast setting epoxy for this step so I'll be able to come back in in a couple hours to do the next blood coat. So I'm just gonna hand pick the glitter at this point and just kind of sprinkle it from a little bit high up and start blending it through. Almost waterfall it a little bit. I'm 
And same thing at the top. I think that's absolutely plenty. I'm going to let this sit for a couple hours in the drying rack. And um, I'm going to show you that real quick because I've had a couple questions about what I mean when I say I'm going to set it down to dry. Like, this is nothing fancy. It's literally just a chunk of, like, 2 by 8 with some PVC caps that fit my pipe. And they just sit in there. Um, this used to be twice as long. This one only has four on it, but I cut it in half at some point when I decided it wasn't staying on the back of my table behind my turners. And I keep one out on the porch for when I spray paint so the cups can sit out there and dry or when I'm working on hydro dips or whatever and one stays in the craft room. So when I say I'm setting it to dry, that's what I mean. Okay, I am ready to get the coat of epoxy on this one. I'm going to try not to get glitter in my cup because some of this will probably move. I'm going to do a pretty thick flood coat um, just because it is a chunky glitter. So there we go. This one is done. It may need a little light sanding and one more coat, but that's no big deal. That beautiful glitter. Bottoms just glittered. That really pretty vinyl. And the it's okay to not be okay vinyl decal. So that is it for this one. I hope you liked it and I will see you next time.